folks in this organization. Okay, Lord. you know how I am. <laughs> I'm trying not to be pushy about this. <laughs> no, but I, ju I, just, I just need three minutes of your time. Thank you. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Because look at this face. Do you take that face or do you take the experimentation for you to have perfect eyelashes? I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's what this boils down to, right? Yeah. So we've got these beautiful, beautiful beagles that are in studio with us. We've got, uh, this is Ruby. Hello, Ruby. Hi, gorgeous girl. And then that's Rocky over there. They have been rescued from the Beagle Freedom Project, has uh, come in to rescue them from laboratories. Uh, Shanna, you actually started the, the organization. Yeah. And then, Jane, you're a great foster uh, rehabber, <laughs> foster parent and rehabber for these guys. So when you, when, you, when you got them, let's see, you said Ruby is She's eight, now. eight years old. So she's in a lab for a long time. Almost seven years. Wow. Seven years. And the types of experiments that are done on them, you know, range from anything from having things put in their eyes, intravenous things, mm -hmm. all just, you know, not fun no, at all. Not fun. And so their, their day is, is what? Consists of what? Now? That, that, that well, that's I should say when they, they were in the laboratories. Mm -hmm. Well, they spend their time in a small kennel. Yeah. Usually never see daylight. Right. They don't get the feel of grass under their feet. They don't. They don't know treats. what fresh air feels like. They have very poor quality food. Yeah. They're not no pets, treats. so they don't get right. They're not cuddles. socialized. They don't socialized. Right. None of that. Right. right. Um, and so, and Shannon, you said mm -hmm. uh, so. Rocky is is younger. Wasn't in the lab for too long, but still, he you know kind of exhibits some of the behaviors of a dog who is kind of still learning how to be a pet. Right, exactly. Yeah, it's so hard for them because they right. they never get to see sunshine, know a kind touch. Yeah, they don't get to interact with one another. Right. They're not known by a name in the lab. They're known by the federal ID number that's tattooed in their ears. And I want to show that. So let's mm -hmm. see if we can if we can show. Give me a right this one. Let's see. Let's see. So basically, that's how he was known. Was exactly. This tattoo on in the inside of his ear. Right. And again, this all boils down to it's not just beagles, but for some reason, beagles are largely used in animal testing. Why is that? Right. Beagles are used because um, they're considered to be docile, mm -hmm. friendly. They're bred to be that way. Yeah. And so people from the labs have specifically told us, well, it's, they're great because they won't bite us when we're testing on them. Wow. Wow. And unfortunately, all kinds of animals are used. So, Jane, you've got a menagerie at your home. Fostered rabbits, yeah. uh, hounds, cats, uh, and beagles. So. And, and a lot of people are going to say, well, listen, I don't want to put something on my face or in my hair or, you know, in my kitchen that's going to get my family and I sick. So I would rather they test on these animals than on my family. But there are alternatives. Definitely. And that's what people kind of need to be aware of. Yeah. And actually, it's not required by law to right. test on animals right. for cosmetics or yeah. products. Not so, in this country. In this country. Yeah, right. It, exactly. Yeah. So there's no need for it at all. And it needs to end. And that's something that Beagle Freedom Project is doing is we're advocating the end to animal testing as well, not right. just rescuing. And here's your website, uh, Beagle Freedom Project. So you can actually go on the website, do, you know, do some of your own research, kind of get to know what this organization is about and, and see how it fits for you. But for myself, because I've been a cruelty-free vegetarian since 2003, I love any kind of tool that I can use when I'm shopping to find out whether or not I'm using a cruelty-free project. And you guys have an app that's yes. perfect for that. Yeah, it's called Cruelty Cutter, and it's a okay. free app you can download on your smartphone. Yeah. It's amazing. You scan a product. It instantly tells you if it was tested on animals or yes. not. Makes it cruelty-free <laughs> shopping a breeze. Excellent, excellent. Okay, I'm getting off my soapbox. All right. Night. But before I do, oh, I would like to leave you with these little faces. Yay. 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 Aren't Hello. they sweet? Hello. Little beagle took Hi. The beagles, don't let them get the howling on you. <laughs> oh. My beagle oh. that I had, Baxter, how? how? <laughs> Ruby will let you know when yeah. it is time to eat. Mm -hmm. And she will. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Court. All right, guys. Hey, coming up next hour.